Yes, and it's a special show this week because uh, I'm uh, delighted to have in the studio Tim Lee. And uh, Tim's been talking about the art of songwriting and uh, playing some music and uh, is going to play us uh, another track uh, again in a few moments. But before we do that, um, Tim, you, you and I met and uh, I think we started our discussion by talking about Paul Simon and um, a, a great uh, singer-songwriter in my opinion. And, and it has influenced your stuff as well, I think. Yeah, big time, big time. I think um, what I love about Paul Simon... Um, He's kind of got that really neurotic. <laughs> so he's almost like I tend to think of him as a musical Woody Allen. I know mm. that the, uh, they grew up in, in similar uh, similar place, um, but yeah, he's he's got that great kind of honesty, like brutal honesty to his lyrics, um, or, um, and often with a quite a upbeat uh, music. So that um, sometimes you can. Um, you can uh, mistakenly think that it's like you're singing a really happy song and then if you really delve into it he, he's kind of uh, having a good moan <laughs> at the same time so like for instance you can call me al mm. is very sort of neurotic lyrics um with a very upbeat um uh, music so yeah it's kind of got something for everyone really <laughs> yeah well I, I must say I, I think of the singer songwriters as being uh, today's poets yeah and uh, certainly, yeah, certainly with, with him and uh, people like Leonard Cohen as yeah well, people and like whereas that. perhaps in the 17th or 18th century you might have been able to get the poems published and become a superstar these days that doesn't really work yeah. you you have to add a bit of music to it and his lyrics I think they start off by being poems and then yeah th the music if you like it has to fit in um but it, to me it's almost a secondary thing and yeah it has the um, beautiful sounds that he gets in i think um that that kind of was started by dylan really wasn't it he he took the the musical ideas of woody guthrie and kind of um you know added a poetic um nature to the lyrics and i know paul simon was really influenced by by dylan um and uh, and that sort of thing. And you do a cover on your new album of one of Paul Simon's most Homeward famous songs, Bound. don't you? Yeah, which was written. Um, this is a random fact. It's actually written at, at Widnes Station uh, in Cheshire. So it's uh, I'm bringing it back to Cheshire again. Well done. Yeah, good. <laughs> but we we we've selected um, a particular track to play here, Hearts and Bones. So what what does that mean for you? Um, again, it's it's the it's the sound really of this one. It's just it takes you to another place. I think this song. Um, it certainly takes me to another place. Um, and it, but it also has like very honest lyrics, and you can tell he really means what he's singing on this one. Is it the one w that talks about a train in the distance? Is no, that's from the same album though. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's right. just called Train in the Distance. Oh, well, that's a good title for it. <laughs> yeah. right. But well, again, that's a very neurotic song that one mm. because it's it's basically saying um, be careful of what you of what you dream for. Everyone everyone thinks they like the sound of a train in the distance, but um, actually going for you going for your dreams can actually be the worst yeah. thing in the world. Be careful which what you is wish very for. Neurotic thing Indeed. to say. All right. Well, look, let's listen to Paul Simon. When we come back, we'll hear again from Tim live. 